Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2020 Jaguar F Pace S. And a huge shout out and thank you to Jaguar Land Rover here in downtown Salt Lake for providing us with the F Pace. If you're in the market for a new Jaguar Land Rover, then definitely check out their inventory in the link below. As always, what we're gonna do is a quick walk around on the F Pace S, and then we are gonna take it out and see how it drives. Let's get into it. Now under the hood here, we have a supercharged three liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and 23 in the highway with power outputs being 380 horsepower and then 332 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the F-Pace S. So first and foremost, I love that little bulge there in the center. I think it makes it just look a little bit more aggressive from a front end perspective. Now coming down, I do love the LED lights as well. I've always liked the little LED accent light that comes around. Just all of it looks just really nice and premium. And then we do get this, uh, venting right there on the side which again makes it look a little bit more aggressive but there are parking centers integrated to the front of this f pace and then you do get the little s logo right there at the front so you know exactly what trim package you are driving but other than that it's distinctive f pace and nothing too crazy going on in the front coming around to the side here we've got two 55 millimeter tires on 20 inch rims and then notice that we do have the brake calipers painted in red obviously to make it look a little bit sportier a little bit more aggressive as well but in terms of the rim design itself i think it goes really well with the rest of the design because you have the silver inserts on the rims and you can see that you have silver all throughout the rest of the car so it kind of matches the overall design but here is your side view on the f pace s so normally we go to the back of the car for me to show the key, but there is a function that it needs to be shown here at the front. So we have the unlock function, we have the lock, and then we have the tailgate release, which we'll go over the tailgate release after we get back to the rear. But this is pretty cool. So you press this button right here and it turns the lights on or off. So basically what you could do at night is if you're struggling to find your car, then you could just press that button to have the F pace flash the lights and then it'd make it easier for you to find it. Or if it's really dark and you need to see something in front of the car, you could just press that button, turn on the lights. And yeah, I think it's a pretty neat little feature. Now let's go over the tailgate release. So just press that and it'll pop right open now coming into the rear of the f pace itself there's actually a ton of space back here and notice that there is this little cargo cover that's attached so when the tailgate goes down it'll cover everything in the rear here but we do have this little tab that you can pull it up and that's actually where they keep the spare in the f pace itself and then we do have these little tabs here that you could basically use to hang stuff on if you want um, and then the other thing to note is the carpet back here is actually pretty soft. It's softer than what they put in most uh, trunk liners. But other than that, when you are done in the rear, there is a button up here. You just have to press that and then that'll actually lower down the rear hatch and you are good to go at that point. Now let's finish things up in the rear with the F-Pace stylistically. And I think this is my favorite part of the whole F-Pace. So you have these signature lights that, these are actually super similar to what is on the F-Type. And I just love these tail lights. I mean, it's super distinctive. You definitely know it's a Jaguar. And then you get the regular badging on the back to let you know what you're driving. But again, I just love the rear end. I think it's just a very aesthetic and good looking rear end. And then you do get the little dual outlet exhaust out the rear, which again, it's another nice little aesthetic touch. And right here, I think this this is probably the best angle on the F-Pace. Coming to the back of the F-Pace here, one touch and that'll lock it and the mirror will actually power fold in. And then put your hand on the back of the door handle and that'll unlock it, the mirror will power fold back out. Now actually opening up the door in the rear, I love the door panel setup. So they have this nice stitching that kind of makes a swooping line and then it just abruptly disappears. So nice trim up here and they have a couple speakers for the sound system. Now here are the seats in the rear of the F-Pace. So you have more of that nice white stitching that goes all throughout out and the feel of the seats is actually very nice and premium now we are going to pop in so popping into the f pace here in the back it's actually really easy to get back here legroom is plentiful and if you're wondering on headroom i'm 5 foot 11 and i have no problem in terms of headroom so i mean you could easily fit adults back here no problem now we do have a couple of vents for the rear passengers and then there's a couple of these which are just usbs and then you do get a 12 volt as well finally the back passengers do get some cup holders and then they also could use this as an armrest if they'd like and it's everything for the rear. We have that same kiss entry here in the front so notice that the mirror power folds in and everything locks up and then boom 
pops out. Now the door panel in the front looks identical to what's in the rear, so you have that same swooping line, except it disappears that way instead of like curved into the door. This looks a little bit different. It's the same trim, but just how they've designed it. Window controls are actually up at the top, which is interesting. Most manufacturers will put them down here, but what they've put down here is the memory seats and then the functions to lock and unlock the door. Here are the seats in the front, and again, got that S logo so you know what trim package you got. They've got tons of stitching all throughout the seats. Definitely looks very premium. The adjustments for the seats are right there and the buttons actually look really cool. I like the look of them. There is the pedals just down below and again they've done a really good job with just the look of the pedals. And then this is to open up the tailgate. You got a little vent right there. And then here is the back of the steering wheel so you guys can see the back of those paddles because we won't be able to see those once we pop in. But here's one more look before we actually step inside. Now to start up the F-Pace, for the brake, push the little push start and everything will come to life. And you got the uh, Jaguar there in the center. Here is our steering wheel in the F-Pace. Now on this side, you've got the controls for like the cruise control, for example. And then you have the nice black stitching with the smooth leather that wraps all around the steering wheel. Got the S logo there at the bottom. And then over here, you have the controls for the little center stack and then like your voice command, phone controls, pretty standard setup. Paddles on the back of the steering wheel so you can shift that eight speed automatic yourself. And then just all the materials they use on the steering wheel, everything is nice to the touch. Now over here, this is the stock for the lights and then also your turn signal. On the other side, you've got the stock for the windshield wipers. Here are the gauges in the center. So we've got the speed over there on the left side and then on the right side, we have the RPMs. And then right there in the center, this is just like the center info on the F-Pace. So it basically just shows you different bits of information on it. So like I can go units and I can make it be a digital speedometer, pick miles per hour, and then it'll do it that way. So it's a pretty easy center stack to use and it gives you basically all the information that you could want to know on the vehicle. Here's the center infotainment system on the F-Pace. So for example, I can press the little home screen button, go to the navigation. It's nice that they have all these little shortcuts at the bottom. I definitely like that. So then it's easier to get to different functions. So like if I want to adjust the seats, go to all that stuff. They do have the camera on it. So you can just basically turn the camera on whenever you want, which is a nice little touch. And then this is what pops up when you do pop it into reverse. Now notice that there are little trajectory lines. And as I turn the steering wheel, they will turn just a little bit with it. Other than that, I think it's a pretty good infotainment system. I love the shortcuts that it has and that's all. Now just below the infotainment system, this is all the controls for the climate controls. It does have a dual zone climate and then this is like that button I pressed to go to the seats. So they do have some shortcuts that are physical buttons for the infotainment system. You got a little volume knob which is tiny and over there in the corner, pretty interesting. I do like the stop start button right there. It actually feels nice to the touch. And then here is the shifter for the eight speed automatic. It is a dial shifter. And then when you do want to shift the gears yourself, you do actually have to kind of press it in a little bit um, to get to the dual shift mode. So if you try to twist it in drive, notice that it won't go over. I do have to push it in. So you got to make sure that you're like committed to manually shifting with the F pace. And we have all of our drive modes right here and those will actually pop up in the center stack. So I'm gonna show that to you guys right here. So here in the center stack, when you press those buttons, it'll show you which drive mode. So you got the dynamic mode and then you have the normal mode and then you have the eco. And then this is kind of like your off-road mode setting, even though it says add sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting, but yeah, it just shows you all the different modes basically. And then you do have to hold it on there for a second and then notice it says mode confirmed. So I love that because it's so annoying when you go into a drive mode and you don't want to go to that mode. You just want to go past it and the vehicle automatically puts it in the mode. So I'm glad that Jaguar kind of waits for a second before it goes into the drive mode. Now we do have auto stop start just right next to that. And then the stability controls on the other side. And then coming down, this is kind of like your off-road cruise control, a little parking brake right here couple cup holders where I've got some uh, keys to a Land Rover, pretty fancy. And then you've got this little panel that you can slide forward and backwards. Now here's the center console. It does have a couple USBs and a 12 volt inside of it. Just a couple extra areas where you can charge your devices. And then I love the dash up here. So you've got soft touch with the stitching and the stitching just continues all throughout the interior. Now opening up the glove box itself, well, it's full of all the owner's manuals and all that kind of stuff, but you can see it's a normal size glove box for the size of SUV that this is. Now up top, we do get our little sunglass holder, and then we do have a shade 
and it's basically just one touch and then it'll go back for you. It is a full panoramic sunroof here in the F-Pace and I love how it just goes back all the way in one touch. It's so annoying when like it'll just go back part of the way and then all the way so I'm glad that Jaguar did it so it's just like all one movement. Definitely my preference. I love the headliner here finished in suede. Definitely a nice headliner and other than that I mean it's a nice looking headliner. I do have to give quick props to Land Rover Jaguar here in Salt Lake for having like the best window sticker set up ever. And yeah, I mean, it's laminated and just, it's awesome. So here is the 2020 F Pace and then it is ebony in color. You can see the engine, all of the stuff that's associated with that and then comfort and convenience. And you guys can pause the video if you guys really want to see all these little things. I'm not going to go over them in detail, but here is the MSRP before optional equipment. And then here is the total MSRP after optional equipment. Now really the only thing that's added on is just the destination charge. And I mean, that's any new vehicle. That all being said though, let's take this F-Pace S out and see how it drives. quickly show all of you visibility before we set off here in the F Pace S. So looking over the hood, it's actually really easy to see out of the hood and it's kind of cool. So the divots that are made from that bulge there in the center actually kind of make it so it's like just a pointed angle and I think it's cool. Now here is visibility through the side mirror. There is the other mirror and then here's all throughout the rear and even though they have that kind of cool like sloped design in the back it's actually easy to see out of the rear as well. So with that all being said well we've got to do this. Let's set off. Initially setting off here in the F-Pace S and we're going to talk about the road noise and ride quality initially. So again I'm in a ton of traffic and just from the ride quality perspective it's really smooth it's really comfortable. In terms of the noise, I hear a little bit from the tires, but other than that, it's really well insulated. I mean, I'd expect to hear a ton of stuff happening around me because again, we're in a bunch of traffic, but the cabin is really well insulated and it's just like a comfortable place to be. And it has auto stop start. So right now, stopped at the stoplight. I mean, just literally do not hear anything, which I like that. We are entering onto the highway and well, if the traffic lets up a little bit, maybe we'll be able to get and acceleration but going at a little bit higher speeds i can tell you it still has that nice smooth ride quality and again the cabin's still really well insulated it's mitigating the sound just it's doing a really good job with all of that so i'm very impressed with the f-pace so far and now we're gonna well hopefully try to get an acceleration <laughs> in a moment well now we're gonna get our acceleration and see how this three liter v6 performs Sounds good. I just recently drove the Vlar and I think this actually sounds just a little bit better than the Vlar, even though it is the same engine. But just from the power response, all that, I mean, it's solid. It goes through the gears really quickly. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing from an acceleration standpoint. I feel like I don't really need any more power. And even when you're at higher speeds, when you get on the throttle a little bit, it just, it picks up and goes. I just want to briefly talk about things on the highway at a little bit of a higher speed. So again, it's still really comfortable, really smooth and really quiet on the interior. And you actually have really good passing power as well. So if you just need to get up and go and pass someone, then it's, it's good to go with this V6. And I don't really have anything negative to say about it on the highway, like it's just, it's a solid vehicle and I feel like I could very comfortably drive this for a ton of miles on the interstate. Now that I'm stopped here, I just want to sum things up on this F-Pace S and I guess just where this stands and since I just drove the Velar, I can actually make some quick comparisons from a driving standpoint. Now, just from the acceleration, it has more power than the Velar that I drove. I couldn't really perceive that much of a difference. They felt pretty much the same, but from the sound department, you could definitely tell that this sounds just a little bit louder. I noticed that the Range Rover just seemed a little bit more subdued, whereas this was just a little bit louder from the exhaust standpoint. And 
I mean, just everything about it, like it's comfortable, it's smooth, the acceleration is really good. And I guess just as like an overall package, I really enjoy the F-Pace. So if you're looking for kind of like the mid-sized luxury SUV segment, then the F-Pace is definitely gonna be a solid one to go for. And there we have it, everyone, the 2020 Jaguar F-Pace S. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Land Rover Jaguar here in Salt Lake for providing us with the F-Pace. If you're in the market for a new Jaguar or Land Rover, definitely check out their inventory in the link below. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe and then I will see all of you in that next video.